Hi, I'm Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, and today we're going to be doing a video on the removal of a 1950 motherboard. First thing you're going to want to do is get everything unplugged off the back. We've already done that, so open up the case. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is removing this uh, black shroud. Just going to pull that up. Depending on your uh, generation, it may look slightly different, but it's still pretty much the exact same process. So next, I'll usually remove all the components off of the board. We'll remove our memory first, then the processors. Just unlatch each of the blue tabs, and it should pop right up. There we go. Sometimes you'll have to twist them a little bit if the thermal paste is kind of stuck on it. Just remove those. And remove our processors. Now you want to be careful with this just because there are pins on the socket and you don't want to damage them because that can pretty much break your board. So we'll pull all of that. Then next we're going to be removing all the parts that are kind of obstructing the removal of the board. First we'll uh, take out our power supplies. You don't need to remove them entirely, just so that they're no longer connected to the board's internal power distribution right there. Next, we're going to remove the fans. Have these blue tabs. And just squeeze the left hand side and it should pull right on out. That with all of them. And then next we're going to be removing the side plane. Now before you can remove it, you'll notice your RAID controller is plugged into it. So first things first, you want to remove this. With this, you end up needing to kind of push this down so it unlatches. Sometimes if they've been in there for years, it can be a little bit of hard. Sometimes you can use a flathead screwdriver, or just kind of pry your finger in there, and then pull up and back. That should come right on out. Now next to remove this side plane, you'll notice there is this little blue tab. Then this one right here, which isn't quite as obvious, but you just pretty much push in for both of them and kind of wiggle it upwards, and then you're all set. You can un unhook this if you want, but honestly, it won't be in the way at this point, so I usually just leave it in there. Lastly, unplug the power to the board, or power to the backplane, I should say. And then your two rear risers. Again, the little blue tabs, just push them in, pull up, and it's simple as that. Now lastly, what you're going to want to do is you'll notice this blue tab right here. Just pull it up, pull the board towards yourself. We'll hear it kind of lock into place. And you just pull it right on up and out. And that covers the removal of the board and hopefully this helps.